Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back in our first episode. Today we're going to talk about footwork. Before we start doing any type of striking, any type of kicking or boxing, I want you guys to learn about footwork. Footwork is the base, it's the most important. So that's what I wanted to do first. So my goal here is not to try to tell you guys what's the best footwork or the best posture. My goal here is more to make you guys understand that you need to find what works for you and but also you need to respect some basics. So we're going to try to explore that today. So with my kids what I like to do is, uh, and I think for every kid it's very important to break it down but also to make them understand why they're doing this. And I like to do that by doing some games, for example. Uh, um, for the footwork, it's very important not to cross your leg or not to get your leg too close from each other. So I like to do some games to explain these type of things. So one game I like to do, there's a couple games I like to do, but one that I like to do uh, the most because it's the most simple. Um, I call it the mirror game. So one person will move one way and the other person will follow. Just like a mirror, left, the other person will move left, back, the other person will move forward and the other person will move back. We're just gonna mirror the other person. That's one of the game I like to do. I like to do when the kids really starting to understand where the feet has to be is I like to make one try to step on the other person's foot. So it just teaches them how to explode with the right position uh, without crossing the leg, without messing, uh, uh, messing up with their footwork. So that's another game that I like to do. Um, something very simple and something they can have fun with. The main focus really is to make sure that the, the kids don't cross their legs, don't cross their feet, or just don't get your feet too close from each other. So I like them to be really apart just so your stability is a little better. And also, if you have a good stability, it allows you to have a better mobility when it's time to move. With the kids, I think that it's a little different. I've been training kids and adults, and for kids, um, what I understood, what I got is that um, I don't train them for a long time. 20 minutes is fine, 15 minutes is fine, 30 minutes is fine. I don't train them too long unless they're getting ready for a competition, but that's not the case right now. So right now, all I'm doing is I train them just a couple minutes, and not only you don't bother them too much and their attention is still intact but also you make them want to do it again and i think that's very important for a kid until it's time to get ready for competition then it's different they gotta train a little more seriously but really um, i started with five minutes then 10 minutes 15 minutes depending on the on, on the kids everything is different some kids can pay more attention some kids less they get distracted faster so um, it, it, it's good to try to understand what your kid can do and how can you um, catch his attention for the amount of time you want
So guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you comment. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys uh, uh, would want in the next video. And also make sure you like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys.